What started out as making custom skates is now a storefront art gallery. Molly Real is in Nevada City this morning doing a little bit of shopping. Well, if you find yourself doing some holiday shopping in Gold Country, I, I think we found a store in Nevada City unlike probably any store in the entire world. That's because Holly, the owner, is unlike any artist, I would say, in the entire world. Uh, Holly, this is Crush. And at first glance, just a very, very cool store. Uh, at second glance, there's a lot going on. Most of it are your creations. Yeah. Um, so let's talk a little bit about who you are as an artist. You studied sculpture. Yep, I studied sculpture and I minored in ceramics. I went to Humboldt State for just about seven years. Um, I did my first two years of school in New York. And yeah, I focused mainly on bronze casting um, when I was in sculpture um, and a lot of clay work. Okay. Mold making. And so if you look at this case, these were kind of, this is what you were classically trained to yep. do. Really cool pieces, really incredible. Uh, that has evolved kind of since the pandemic. So now you have mixed in a little bit of taxidermy, which we both acknowledge sometimes makes people do a double take, but let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, I started doing taxidermy in the pretty much, it was about three years before the pandemic because um, I was looking for a quicker way to sculpt because some of my pieces are pretty involved and can really get into time. Um, so I thought maybe it'd be faster to actually take a class and learn how to use the animal than to sculpt the animal. Um, so that's kind of how I fell into it. I was trained through Paxton Gate, one of their head taxidermists, and just kind of took it from there. Yeah. As we make our way through, you know, you kind of notice on the walls uh, the different animals, and, and you did want to point out everything is sustainably harvested, as you said. Nothing is killed for the purpose of you making art. Nope, absolutely not. Everything was either roadkill brought to me by somebody or, you know, something that was found or not being used anymore. Yeah, and you said, you know, in Nevada City, in this area especially, you live on a lot of property. Uh, things happen, death is around, so you are making art out of it. Uh, let's go into the vault here. This is kind of your museum of sorts, is this gold, glittered ground. Yep. Uh, so we chose to keep the name The Vault because in 1856, this was actually Nevada County Bank, the oh, storefront cool. that you're in right now. Mm. And this was actually the vault that they kept all the money in. So these walls are two and a half feet thick. And we wanted to keep, pay homage to that space. So we kept the name The Vault and turned it into the gallery. So tell me what, you must get a lot of reactions, different ones when people walk in here. Definitely. Um, you know, there's two kinds of people. They either come in and they're absolutely captivated by it and really enjoy it. And then there's the other person that occasionally comes in and turns around and walks right out. And, you know, I respect both of those opinions. Everybody has an opinion and yeah, it's, you know, it's not for everybody. Right. Um, it's definitely my happy place and I find joy in it. Well, and that is art, isn't it? Totally. I mean, you know, it's uh, finding the beauty in something that, uh, and it's all relative, isn't it? Uh, let's walk back out because like we said, you know, there's so much of this store that is you. You also curate a lot of things, uh, but your ceramic mugs. It's just a very cool store, <laughs> Holly. Uh, and you're right in the heart of downtown Nevada City. How's that for you? It's amazing. I mean, we've we've been in business for almost two years. November 22nd um, was our first day in business up at the top of the hill. So I was on the top of Broad Street before and the business showed that the people liked it. So I, when this storefront I saw was gonna be available, I jumped on it because it's such a better location with foot traffic and being right next to the National is, it's a dream. Yeah, okay, well, something you probably have noticed as we walk through the store, this amazing wall of skates. Well, guess what? Those are custom skates by Holly herself, so still ahead, we're gonna tell you a little bit about how you can get your very own pair, plus about the foundation she's working on to get help people uh, have somewhere to skate. So that's coming up 